we have completed this part and uh, we have completed this first question and we'll go to the second one uh, hello everyone this is shravan kumar mantri welcome to our channel csc gurus uh, given two strings s1 and s2 uh, find all the common characters in s1 and s2 so how we have to do we'll see this one so i'll take two strings here so i've taken two strings if i say what are the common characters means uh, a is a common one here it is there here it is there and uh, c is there here and here and f is not here of course e is there here and here okay these are the common characters i need to find so how to get this logic okay so in order to do i'll maintain two arrays count arrays for the first string and for the second string like this i'll maintain a count arrays starts with 0 up till 122 so like this and here also 0 to 122 now if i get b the first index so i'll make the count where b means the ascii value is 98 right a for 97 b is 98 like this up to z 122 so in the case of that okay like this we have so c1 of b i mean first i'll take b what is the count somewhere let us suppose here 97 it will become 98 so anyway all are initialized with 0 initially so now it is 1 now a means 97 it will become 1 and I'll increment every time I'll write the logic I'll tell you and C here I think here it is 1 and F somewhere here 1 like this I'll maintain the count and for S2 also A means somewhere here okay all are zeros initially so this will become 1 and then a d okay 98 90 900 so here it will become 1 c here it will become 1 like this e here it will become 1 so like this i'll maintain now how can i say that common means if c1 of i is non-zero and c2 of the same position should be non-zero right okay if it is non-zero that means count might be greater than one also right if it is repeated but common one we have to find if it is non-zero here and at the same time here also you can see 97 1 here also 97 1 so then i can say common here 98 1 but here it's not so i cannot say it is common so that part of the logic i'll use so the complete code i am writing here you can see so i've taken uh Two, uh, two strings okay anyway I want to give the input get s of uh, I want to take that inputs s1 and get s of s2 so two strings I'll take okay so first string and second string anyway uh, I'll write here printf uh, enter a string enter a string string 1 and here I'll write printf enter string 2 right so now I have taken two strings now I want to write the logic to get the counts for I starts with 0 okay I'll write I str of sorry it's s1 right s1 of i not equals to null character i plus plus i'll make s okay c1 of s1 of what do you have to write c1 of s1 of i plus plus c1 of and s1 of i plus plus for and i have to get the count for the second one for i starts with 0 s2 of i not equals to null character and then i plus plus i'll write c2 of s2 of i plus plus so like this we have to write 
and anyway the variable i has to be declared and then after getting the counts now the checking will be done okay now for i'm checking i starts with 0 i up to 123 i plus plus if if c1 of i okay it's non zero or you can say it as a greater than zero whatever it may be and c2 of i is non zero okay then i can print that character so i'll write printf i'll write percentile c which is a common character and i want to print that what is that common character which is i only right i which is a ascii value that you have to take it whenever it is equal then only i want to print that character and uh, that's it i think i want i can close that right so this is something the lo main logic resides here like here so here you have to get the logic when the count is same so we'll see the execution so i'll take something like a b and uh, g f i and the second one is uh, i'll take b g then i d h so the, i think the common characters are uh, g is there b is there i is there so b g i which is our output so like this we can find the common characters easily i think if you know this one there is a concept of anagrams so that also you can answer if you know this one so you can try that one so this part we have finished so we'll see the next programs in the next video lecture thank you